I've got to tell you, the Quest 2 headset is honestly a great headset, especially for the money. Whether you just got your headset or you've had it for a long time, there are definitely some ways to make it better. And in this video, we are going to go over our favorite VR accessories. And in our opinion, these are must haves. I think these first two items are probably the most important upgrades for your Quest 2 headset and will probably help make the biggest difference in fully enjoying your headset. That is a different head strap and a facial interface. Let's start off with the facial interface. There are a lot of options out there and honestly, I have tried most of them. I tend to stick with VR cover and it's what I always recommend, mainly the pleather style VR cover. This is the soft, squishy, leather-like material. Much easier on your face. It's not gonna soak up sweat and get all nasty. And it also doesn't get slimy feeling like the silicone covers that come with the Quest 2. These things are gonna range in many different colors and come with two different thickness pads. Usually, me, I use the thin pad, but honestly, try both and see which one is more comfortable for you. And if you tend to sweat a lot, then I do recommend the Fitness Facial Interface from VR Cover for increased airflow, less fogging issues. The links are all in the description. Next up is head straps. The Quest 2 comes with a soft strap, which can be fine, honestly, for short play sessions. But if you really wanna play and enjoy some VR, then it can really become uncomfortable and you will feel pressure and the weight on your face, especially after playing for a little while. The best thing, honestly, to do is just get rid of that thing and upgrade to something that will more evenly distribute the weight of the headset and take some of that front pressure off of your face. My number one recommended head strap right now is the Bobo VR M2 Pro head strap. This thing is very good at distributing the weight. It completely gets rid of the front pressure that you feel on your face with other head straps and it also includes a 5200 milliamp battery bank that goes on the back and this is a magnetic thing so and you can actually buy extra ones of these and you can hot swap them during your play sessions if you start to run out of battery because we all know that's a pain in the butt when you're in the middle of the game and your battery starts to run low the battery bank is also going to help give you some better weight distribution by putting some weight onto the back of the headset the headphones that you see here are not included with the Bobo VR M2. These are the engineered AF headphones, and I love these things, but they're hard to recommend right now because they keep being out of stock. Hopefully, they'll be back in stock soon. The current price for the Bobo VR M2 Pro is $59.99 with the included battery. Honestly, I think this is a fantastic deal. So I've had a lot of experience with the Oculus official Elite battery strap. I use this thing for a long time and it is great and that has been my go-to. I've tried other head straps and I always return to the head strap until the Bobo VR M2 Pro. Now I know I have seen all of the pictures and stuff online of people having theirs crack and break and honestly that is an issue and I, I've never had that issue with mine. I've had mine since day one. I've never had any cracks or breaks but if you do decide to go that route, Oculus is very easy to work with and they will replace the head strap if it breaks. But there is another head strap that is very similar. This is the Kiwi Elite Strap. Now, I don't have as much experience with this head strap as I do with the Bobo VR M2 Pro and the Oculus Elite Battery Strap. This one I haven't had for as long, but I've been testing it out and honestly, I really enjoy it. There's a ton of padding on the top head strap as well as the rear strap that touches the back of your head. It seems to be a little bit more durable than the Oculus Elite strap. These straps on the side, you can really twist them around. They have a lot of bend in them and they have not broken at all or cracked or anything like that. And I really love the hinge design that they've put into this thing. That way you can hop out of VR to do, you know, real world stuff for a minute and then hop back into VR without taking the headset all the way off. This head strap though is not gonna include a battery bank, but there are a lot of options that we're gonna go over later in this video that can be easily attached to this head strap. This one currently comes in at around $42. The two Elite strap style designs, they're gonna put a little bit more pressure on your face because they're more of a ski mask style where the it tightens down and puts pressure on your face whereas the Bobo VR M2 Pro is more of a halo style and it kind of distributes the weight onto the top of your head instead of having the pressure on your face but I still find these very comfortable I've used this style head strap for hours and hours of gameplay both of these options I think are great options the next thing that I highly recommend is a good pair of knuckle style strap for your controllers. These are gonna help keep the controllers attached to your hand and you can even fully let go of your hand without dropping the controllers. I still highly recommend though using the included wrist straps. The grips that I always have on my controllers are the Mamut Grip 3s. These are made of like a rubber kind of material and they're also customizable. You can change the color of the straps. There's some adjustments in here for different size hand for bigger or smaller hands. These are what I always run. These are not going to come with the magnet attached on the bottom. What this is for is my Mamut Apto gun stock. That way you can easily magnetically snap onto the gun stock, take your hand off to reload. Honestly, the Mamut Apto and the Grip 3s are an 
awesome combo. And I highly recommend this combo for VR shooters such as contractors or anything like that. Another set of grips that I highly recommend and that my wife uses all the time on her controllers are the Kiwi controller grips. These things are made of a very soft silicone material. This uh, version right here also has a battery door that opens up to easily swap out the battery, which is a very nice feature. They do make another version of these that are a little bit cheaper that don't have the battery access door. The silicone material that these are made out of are very soft and very comfortable in the hand. One thing to be aware of though is that the front part of the controller grips actually cover up two of the infrared tracking rings. Now, I have never had a problem using these things. I've never lost tracking. You know, it's not often that your headset is seeing the front part of the controller, but that is something to be aware of. But like I said, I've never had any issues with tracking using these controllers. Next up would be a good battery bank. And if you go with the Bobo VR M2 Pro, then you're already set because you're already gonna get a battery bank that attaches to the back of the head strap. If you choose to go with another head strap, then I highly recommend either the Rebuff Reality VR Power 2 or the Nivrana battery bank. Both of these work great. They fit a number of different head straps and they greatly extend your playtime. So these are my most recommended accessories for the Quest 2 headset. And honestly, these are the ones that you should first start looking into when you first get your headset. Or if you've had your headset and you really wanna improve the comfort and the playability and the amount of time you can spend in VR, these are the products that I would go to first. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because we're gonna have a lot more content like this coming up in future videos. And a lot of these products that you've seen in this video, we have more in-depth videos on the channel. Honestly, I'm a big accessory person. I love VR accessories. I love testing them. I love using them. I love customizing my headset. So this all, all this stuff is a lot of fun to me. So I really appreciate you watching and we will catch you all in the next one. Later.